hey, this shape, which I am calling a pill head, takes up, you know, and it, it it's kind of a pill shape. Well, here's what it looks like. As a mask, that could work on top of your head. There's all sorts of options to how you could use this shape, and it's pretty simple to make. Here it is, laid out flat. It's a large piece of cardboard that has these grooves cut at intervals and these V notches and it's, it's folding in certain spots. So we gotta be a little bit careful when we make it. Now this piece of cardboard is not quite big enough to make what we need. It's, it's a pretty large piece of cardboard, but it's not quite the size we need. We're going to go with it. It's, it's going to be a slightly smaller one. You need to decide how how wide the flat-ish part is going to be. And so if I just go with these two lines that are here, that's perfect. Now I'm going to set, set an interval. Let's say every two inches I'm going to put a mark. So if I have a mark here, this ruler is hard to read. So there's that many marks over there. I'll do the exact same thing on this side. So these lines need to line up. So can't just wing it. Now, if we're being smart, what we'll do is we'll put a mark over here that's halfway between these two. So I put a mark at zero and two, then two and four, six, eight. So between here, between zero and two is one, three, five, seven. So with my ruler, three, five, seven, then nine's up on the end. Now here's the trick. If I put the mark on the mark, and draw it. Now if I keep this side the same, I can just pivot over to here. Line it all back up. The next mark, pivot, mark. I'm actually using, kind of using the uh, the marker to do it. Poof. So let me try this again. Then. Once you have this all marked, that's what you're going to be cutting out. So cutting this shape out, you'll have to fold in between each of these cutouts and hopefully they line up with each other. But once you have all the, the cuts and the folds made, it's simply a matter of pulling these together and I would highly recommend using some masking tape at this point. And here's a trick I just figured out. If I take some tape, I can temporarily give it the curl that it needs. So now as I'm taping and then gluing these side pieces together, I already have something holding it in that shape. So these all come together and the next piece of tape will hold this side, will hold this side, and once it's all taped very neatly, I'll be able to quickly put some glue. Tape one, tape two. So now that this is put together, I would take a hot glue gun and carefully start filling these up a little bit, holding them each time, and making sure that the glue gets cold so that it doesn't slowly leak apart. Well, let's take a look at this. Now with my support tape still on, it's kind of narrow, it's getting pulled kind of tight, when I take the support tape off, it starts to change shape a little bit. So that might change the shape of the top. And if I don't want the top to go quite so far, I can always just trim some of this off. Or I can make the triangles inside. I could just start trimming away little bits of cardboard. That's why it's nice to tape it together before you start gluing because it's much harder to, to change the shape or anything like that once it's permanently together. So once this is done, I can't wait to see what, what happens when someone makes two of them and puts them together 
or a hat, or a face mask, or a shield, or could be a cool shoulder piece. It, there's so much we can do. I'm excited to see what we make with it. Let me know what uh, you guys think, and I can't wait to see 